Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Gina. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with me, uh, welcome uh, if you're new here. Um, I've, a lot of you have been following me for years now and you may or may not know um, why I've kind of disappeared lately. Um, I, I will just give you a brief little chat um, for those of you who haven't um, been aware of the reason for my absence. Um, I'll just go into that briefly and those of you who would just want to jump on ahead and see what we're going to create today, I have it time stamped in the description box. So, um, so again, well, welcome and hello. Uh, it's been a while. I know it has. I've really missed you guys. I've missed this whole community so much. Uh, various things going on in personal life. You know how it is. It happens to all of us. Um, I lost my father in February and uh, luckily I had went back. Um, you know, I, I was living in the UK for those of you who aren't aware. Um, we lost my husband's father in 2019 and then my father just passed away in February and my dad passed away four days before we were due to uh, go on the road full time. Uh, this is not a vacation for us. Um, you know, we still work. So uh, <laughs> don't, if any of you have got visions, oh, she must be wealthy and she's just, you know, moving around the U.S. That's not the case at all. I got a sister channel. If, if any of you do want to check it out, I will link that channel in the description box. Um, just kind of showing some of the places that we've seen. But at any rate, we've been on the road full time since um, <clears throat> early February, about mid February actually. And um, it's been a big adjustment. Um, loving it, absolutely loving it. But I think Paul and I both have come to realize that we really miss some things from our previous life. And this was just so much a part of me I had to make a way to get back to creating and um, and so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm going to make this work I'm not going to show you a tour right now but that will be in the works guys just because number one we've got some little um, things that we need to share on our other channel and um, in before you know, I've got to do that before I can show you guys um, the changes that we've made. Uh, I've got a very small space, but I want to show you that it doesn't matter what room you've got. If you want to create something, you can make it happen with minimal supplies and a very a dining room table. That's basically what I've got. So, um, you know, don't be thinking you're going to get one of these Pinterest uh, craft tours. <laughs> I am at a very small table, but I am going to show you how I've made this work with some storage. And hopefully that will help some of you ladies out there who have wanted to do this and you're just, you, you're just afraid to take that leap. Let me tell you, do it. Do it now. And that goes for anything in your life. Stop putting off what you want to do. Just just do it. It's scary. I know it is. Believe me. I know. But you can do this. So that's enough of me rambling. You you guys know I'll kind of chat, you know, as we go ahead, I'll tell you a bit more about, you know, various things that we've that have happened since we've been on the road. But we're loving it. We've got um some exciting news I can share um very soon. But like I said, I've got to tell you know, I've got to share that on our other channel before I can um, leak it here, <laughs> which is going to be hard for me because, you know, I'm not great at, at keeping secrets. <laughs> okay, so let's just get ahead. I know you guys are, are t you want to get on with the project. Quick and easy, and you should be able to do this with very minimal supplies. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you a couple of things that I've purchased today, actually this morning, to make this happen. So let me just go over the supplies that I've got and what I think you're going to want to have to make this happen. Number one, you're going to want some kind of shipping paper. Um, you can get this in your packaging sometimes if you order off 
online. Save those things. Um, you're going to want some music sheet. If you've got it available, maybe some um, pattern paper and, and you've got the tissue in there because that's what I've, I've used here. So you're going to want to have a few of those things. Of course, you're going to want some glue. Um, any glue stick. Don't feel like you have to have this. I've actually, when these are gone, I'm going over to the Dollar Tree glue sticks. I used those in the past and they're perfectly fine. You know, you get, I think, eight or ten little tubes of it for a dollar twenty-five. I mean, it's not the Dollar Tree anymore now. I do, it's it's a, the dollar twenty-five store, but still, it's it's a good, really good value. So this doesn't have to cost you a lot of money. Um, okay, and you're gonna want probably some distress ink if you want to make it look vintage. If you don't like the look of vintage, then just adapt this as as you you know feel the need. Um, this is just one of those cheap sponges from the Dollar Tree, and it's seen better days, as you can tell. I, I used a bit of glue, and now that, that side's pretty much worthless. But it works. It's cheap. And uh, I, I purchased one of these little sanding blocks from the Dollar Tree as well, guys. Fantastic. For um, $1.25. I was using files before, um, either nail files or foot files um, that were new, obviously. <laughs> um, but this is brilliant. You will love this little block. It's just a cheap little sanding block and it works. I'll show you. It's very, very effective. So that's another little purchase that I made. Today I was at the Dollar Tree and I love this size little... Um, I should have showed you what, what we're making. This is just a little paper. Well, it's not a paper clip, but a little clip for our journal. And this size I've never seen before. I've seen the tiny, tiny ones, um, which are nice. But when I saw these, I was like, oh, I can do something with that. So I picked that up today. I picked up some paper bags. I, I'm not using that in this project, but... So um, but so today, if you want to make this, and the, the reason I've made this one is because that was an off cut, and I just thought, well, why not just go ahead and take advantage of it. So what you're also going to want are some of the large index cards. I purchased some of these that are unlined. The lines are nice as well, um, so it doesn't matter. You know, you whatever you've got on hand... Um, Let's just make use of that so you're not buying anything extra. I've got some grid paper. I picked this up at a thrift store in um, Colorado. And it, I loved this little thrift store. It was a Methodist-run thrift store. And oh my goodness. Talk about bargains. I mean, this sewing pattern here I got for $0.35. Cents. Um, and you can tell that's... That's an old one. I don't know. It's probably got a date on here somewhere. I don't see it. But at any rate, I know I've seen these on Marketplace going for like $12, which is just crazy. But I will use these ladies in some of my um, own journals. And I might actually share with you guys. I've, I've started taking up the journaling since I've been on the road. Um... I've actually got four journals going. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm digressing. I'm so sorry. Um, bear with me, guys. Um, but yeah, I've taken up journaling. I'll, I'll go into that another time. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just so excited to be back. <laughs> okay, so I think I've covered pretty much everything you're going to need for this. Now, if you've got little um, Tim Holtz uh, die cuts or some of these stickers, maybe some of the words from Tim Holtz. That's what I used on here. These were um, just something I bought off of Amazon and then you, these little uh, field notes I believe is what these are. But again, the chances are if you purchase digital kits, um, you've probably got images that you can fussy cut out or use a magazine. Magazines have got gorgeous images that you can do. So, okay, so that's, that's, I'm just going to give you the basic and then you just go with it. That's, that's the best thing I can suggest. Um, these little index cards, uh, they're pretty thin, so I'm going to double them up. And another reason I want to do that is because I've created a little window here. 
and uh, I'll show you how to do that in just a bit. But let's just set the back one off to the side and let's just go ahead and collage um, a few of these papers because if you can see I've got some of the grid paper underneath, some of the music paper, some of this um, shipping paper and then I went over it with a bit of the tissue paper so uh, so that's what we're going to do and um, don't be too uh, worried about the placement of it if you're new to uh, collaging. I think sometimes we can overthink things. I know I do. I'm terrible about it. So don't do that. Just go with it. And like I said, this uh, tissue paper will cover a lot of little mistakes if you, if you feel like, oh, I'm not really happy with that. It, it's very forgiving. All right, so let's just get a few bits on here. I kind of like the lines from this. Now, I'm going to do some coffee dyeing on this paper <laughs> at some point. I just haven't uh, I haven't done any coffee dyeing yet, guys. Wow, Ooh, is that going to be a major job? But um, I'm going to have to do it. i got to do it. And let me tell you what I'm finding out about the Wild West. Holy cow, have they got some serious wind going on here. Um, we have pretty much had wind um, most of uh, the journey. It's It pretty much started in Florida. I was, I was based in um, the panhandle of Florida, or you may know it as the Forgotten Coast, uh, for... Gosh, I was there for probably five months living in the RV before we set off, and, and we really, we did catch some pretty strong uh, winds, and then, of course, Texas. Um, I mean, I've been out west, you know, when I was younger, and then I was, I worked out in Colorado back in 2008, but I don't know, I think... I think if you're not living in an RV, maybe you don't notice it as much because you're you're in your secure house, you know. But wow, it's been uh, crazy, crazy. So I don't know how that's gonna how I'm gonna get on with the tea, the coffee dyeing um, with these strong winds. But hey, gotta do it. Gonna have to figure out a way somehow to make it work. Um, Sorry about this sound, guys. That's my uh, my laundry bag is out, secured to the um, RV, and boy, it's just been flapping, flapping, flapping around. So I'm sorry about that noise. Okay, so I would like just a little bit more of the music paper down here. And then I'm just going to now take a bit of this tissue paper. That's the bit I used earlier. Let me get a larger piece here. And I'm trying to do this while Paul is out. Um, but no doubt, um, if things go as they normally do, he'll probably come in before I'm doing done doing this. And so you might hear him. Alright, so that will cover that fine. So what I'm going to do now is just... This would work easier, guys, if you've got some uh, Mod Podge. Um, I've got it, but I'm not going to drag it out. I'm just going to go with the glue stick at the moment. But definitely would be much easier with a paintbrush to get this on. And I want those lines. I think they look um, really cool on this. Now the other thing I would be doing if I were a normal person living in a house <laughs> is I would be running this through a sewing machine. And probably with some black... Um, thread. 
but I do not have a sewing machine yet. <laughs> That's on my wish list. So we'll see. We'll see how, I, how it all goes. Um, I'm just going to start with little projects and see if it's just too stressful. I don't know. But um, I'm going to start little, and I think I think that's the best way, is just start small and simple, and then I'll see, because as you know, I mean, making journals, wow, you can end up with two or three rooms full of stuff, and I know I've got a hoarding instinct in me, so I have to be even more cautious about not overdoing it. Um, I've already taken over quite a bit. <laughs> I'm like, well, we really don't need that much food, do we? Um, that'll give me room for fabric. Uh, no, it's uh, it is tight. I won't I won't kid you. It's tight, but it's yeah, I'm still enjoying it. Okay, so I'm gonna save those bits because we can only use them for something else. Okay, so let me just give you a look close up. And I am sorry guys if, if we're getting any shadowing. Um, lighting's not great here but you can see that really toned all that down and even though the grid paper was extremely white now it's it's really nice. So um, I'm now just going to come in. Uh, this is a one and three quarter inch punch but you can use any size you want and you can place it anywhere you want. This time I'm going to go on the left side. No no reason other than I just think I think I, I, I want to do it over here. And so this is the little bit that we're gonna we're gonna in a minute make ourselves a little a little journal clip with our Dollar Tree clips. Alright, so this is the back now, and of course that's just way too white, so I think what we'll do is the same thing we did with the other one. I'm going to put a little bit of um, music sheet paper under here and get that glued. And... Um, I'm just going to lay this over here. I just want to make sure that I get the placement right. I really like that. I think that's going to look really, really cool. Oh, I'm just itching to tell you guys uh, the plans for the next few months, and I can't do it. <laughs> So you got to keep coming back so you can, you can find out what we're going to be up to. Okay, so that's what we're going to see. Wouldn't that look nice if the stitching, ooh, with the black stitching around that would be so, so pretty. All right, so let me get this mess out of here. Um, all right, so I'm going to dig out. This is I've got a little bit of storage here where I've been keeping some things. I'm going to just kind of go with the same theme. I think I'll put another, um, oh, that's pretty. It's a little bit small, though. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do this one completely different. I'm just thinking maybe a mushroom. I, I've got all these mushrooms that came, and I believe this is the field notes, guys, from um, from Tim Tim Holtz. But I couldn't swear to it because I've had all this stuff for quite a while, and uh, yeah, oh, I think I know the one. Because don't you think with the um, the bright colors? I wonder if I should swap those. Maybe like that. Let me see what else I got here. Oh, I really like this. This has got, somehow I'm going to incorporate that. See, I like that. I don't know. Is it too busy? Hmm. 
I don't think so, actually. I think I like it. I was. It's funny because I thought, oh, what am I going to do with those mushrooms? But I think that works, don't you? Okay, so the other thing I'm going to do... <clears throat> I'll come back and put these on in just a moment. Um, you know our packaging, when you buy, I mean like this. This was from the Tim Holtz stuff. I'm just... Because I can't, I'm so limited on space, I thought, well, this is just crazy to keep buying things when I can just start recycling these. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make a little, this is going to be my little window. Now, if you don't like this shiny look, uh, you can use tracing paper. I couldn't find any today when I went into town. Um... And again, I'm just really, really tight on space, so I'm not too sure if I'm going to be able to source any. It's just a shame I can't have, you know, maybe five or six sheets and replenish as need, but it doesn't work that way, does it? All right, so I just cut that little bit of packaging out, and I'm just going to lay that on there. But you'll be surprised at what you can actually do with what is laying around the house. And that's what I want. I want to try to get across in, in these um, little craft with knees. I want, I want you to just stop worrying about going out and spending a lot of money because it's not necessary. It really isn't, guys. I think the best investment is get a really good uh, digital, find somebody whose style you really like, buy one of their digital kits, and you'll be amazed at what you can do with one kit. You can make so many different um, projects, and it look so many different ways based on, you know, distressing it. Okay, so let me get that glued down there. Yes, guys, I'm still fighting with the glue. It, it's, you know, it's been a year and a half, and no, I still got issues with my glue. <laughs> Crazy. All right, now I've, I've lost my place again. Just going to try to hold that in place and just kind of tuck this up there. I really like this one. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine like that. Got a little bit of glue there. Okay. So now let's just get this glued down and then I'll add the rest of those little bits. Um, Yeah, I purchased a, a sewing machine last week, one of those little compact ones, and I uh, brought it home, got everything. Um, I hope this isn't shaking, guys. I'm so sorry. This this isn't a very stable table. Um, I got it home, plugged it in, because I thought, oh, I don't know. So luckily I got back and tried it straight away, and uh, that went back to the store because, um, I mean, it was almost as much as a, a full-size machine and I've had a couple of the basic full-size machines and they've been fabulous um, so I thought oh, I'll just wait until I know I've got the space and I'll just go ahead and purchase you know something that's gonna be up to the job because um, it's it's hard on a machine going through uh, paper and, and that's basically what I and I sew on Okay, so that's what it's looking like. Love that. Really like that. Let's get these bits down now.
And if you want to add some uh, little metal bits, that would be really pretty on this. Um, I'm waiting for some brads to come in. I'm not going to be able to do any eyelets. I left my crocodile in England in the lockup. Um, so I'm not purchasing another crocodile. It's just no, no, no. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to have to try to, you know, come up with some. I think in some ways, um, I think it makes you more creative to have limited supplies. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Uh, let me know in the comments below, but I often think the more you've got, the less creative that you are. So maybe this is going to be uh, a real positive for me. That's how I'm going to look at it. Is is it, it's? I think I'll have to really think about how I can make this work with with just what I got because um, oh, that needs a little bit more glue there. But I kind of like that challenge as well. It really, um, it gets my mind working. And, you know, I'm back to the stage. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know um, when I, I kind of obsess over things. Whatever I go into, it's like, oh, I don't just dabble in it. I'm like full on. <laughs> and so now I'm waking up, um, you know, with ideas in my mind. And I think it's a good thing because, uh, yeah, i got to glue that down a bit more. It keeps your mind active, and it's nice to be excited about because um, I really had reached the point, and I think you guys could probably could tell I was really, really burnt out. And that, with everything else that was going on, um, it was just, I just had to step back and regroup, and that's what I've done, and um, I think it's it's been a good thing for me, um, you know, you can, you can kind of, if you're not careful, you can regret things, and I'm trying to not have regrets, um, I think it was needed, so, and that's, that's just the way it is, so. Oh, I love how that came out. So that's going to have to go in in a nature-themed <clears throat> journal. All right, so let's just see. They're coming very different, aren't they? You know, you got the real feminine. It's still nature, but much more uh, feminine. And this one, to me, is just a bit more masculine. But I like it. Okay, so this is what our little offcut is. Just going to go ahead and ink around the edges a bit. that over there and what I did bear with me guys I've got some stamps here somewhere okay I've got this little stamp and I'm just gonna add a few a few numbers there just for interest I think it just adds a little bit more interest to it and I see my time is about to run out guys so I'm going to try to get this done before we run out of time alright so I've added a little bit of stamping and then if you want to come back and add a bit more um, paper on top of that, what I did before was a bit of doily, which I've got somewhere. Okay, guys, let me just read. I'm going to stop the camera right now. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was stressing me out. I had 54 seconds left, and I thought, no, I don't want to rush this because I've been away for so long. Okay, another purchase. This was a Dollar Tree. I used to look at this pack and think, no, it's too big. I'm only going to use those, maybe those, but actually... Um, you'd be surprised at the large one because I'm only needing little bits of it. It's a dollar twenty-five. You got thirty-two. This is probably going to last you uh, ages, to be honest. So I'm going to put just a little bit of this on here. I hope you guys can see this okay. I'm trying to make sure I stay in frame. 
So what I'm going to do, because it's it, if you try to do the doily, it's just going to tear. So I'm just going to put some straight onto here. And don't worry, if it hangs off, we'll come back and trim that up. And what will be nice on this one? Let me just trim this up a bit. I'm going to kind of keep it in the same theme. Um, so I guess I kind of want bolder colors is what I'm trying to say. So let's see. Oh, that's quite pretty, isn't it? I don't know. It's, I wish I had. Let me see if I got one just a little bit smaller. I feel like that's just taking up a little bit too much. I could use one of these bugs. Ooh, they got to be used though, don't they? Uh, oh, I'm not mad on bugs. Yeah, I wish. Um, I wish you could choose in these kits what you want, cause. A lot of the stuff that comes in it, I'm like, that's not really my thing. Yeah, I'm not really digging the bug, guys. <laughs> it's got to go. That's a bit too creepy. Uh, oh, you know, you know. I'm going to save that one. Um, oh, that's quite sweet there. Let me see. Yeah, I like that. Let me just see if I can find a tiny little bit of ledger or something. Something just kind of like that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tear this one in half and stick this up under here. Okay, that works. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about these bugs. I think I might have to uh, put those in a little... Uh oh that's an extra bit. Uh, I may have to put those in a to-donate kit or something. Actually, I'll use this tacky glue for this bit. Nearly done, guys. And you can see that was a really quick little project with minimal supplies, which is what I want you to start thinking is, is you don't have to spend a lot. You can, and particularly if you've got book pages, wow, you can do so much with them. I'm really missing all my books. Um, and obviously I'm not going to be able to, to carry more than probably one book just to use the pages out of, so I'm going to be super selective. Oh, <laughs> it's hard. It's really hard, guys. All right, so I'm just going to put some of this glue on here. Um, it'll, it'll take longer than if I use the Fabri-Tac or, or some hot glue. I might have to invest in a little hot glue if I feel that I could justify the space for it. This is really sweet. Oh, I could ink that a little bit, but um, um, let me see if I can do it. I don't want to disturb the, the little clip. Uh, I better leave it, guys, but I will ink that one and make it just a little bit darker. Let me see. Probably add a little bit to this one. It's a bit white, isn't it? Okay. So now let me just give you a little close-up. I really hope the lighting's okay, guys. I, I am going to work. Just bear with me, guys. I'm going to try to find a way to get um, some lighting in here. I'm going to tone that down just a bit. I feel like it could do with like a bit of bling there, but I won't. I won't because I can't. 
I don't have any. <laughs> but I really like that little clip. Those are so sweet. And then this is our little journal card. And like I said, if you had some black stitch and did that a couple of times, wow, that would be so pretty. And then I just inked it up a bit back here so I could do some writing in that. And then this is what I had done in preparation for this video. There you go. And then this. Um, I, you could add. I don't think this needs anything. This is one of those Tim Holtz stickers. But uh, with this writing, I think I, I think it's got enough writing on there personally. So. So there you go, guys. That's what you can do with some index cards. These are a great way to alter those. And like I said, go to your uh, Dollar Tree with a mind to just look around. Sometimes you have to go to several Dollar Trees. They all have different items. And I think they must base it on who where the where the the craft sales are the the highest because those stores some of the stores are just loaded with um, supplies and then others I've been in have very little and don't forget to check the children's section as well because you can often find things um, over in their part that you can use so I really hope you guys have enjoyed that let me get some of this clutter out of the way so you can see and. I hope that you've enjoyed that. I hope that this has inspired you to just try to uh, use what you've got and, and don't worry about uh, buying more. Okay, guys, take care. I will be back soon with another tutorial. Um, it's good to be back. I hope you all have been well. And I've, I've been watching as much as I can. Uh, because we're so limited on Internet, uh, it's not easy for me to stream videos, which is why, you know, uh, I hope none of you have had hurt feelings because I haven't been commenting on um, on your videos. I thought, you know, I follow so many of you, but I just, I'm lucky if I can even get through a video, let alone place a comment. So, anyways, I have been following you guys uh, when I can, and uh, I know you guys are still creating some fabulous things out there and it's got me so excited to try some of them as soon as I feel like I've got the the time and the the resources to do so <laughs> but um take care guys and I will see you soon bye bye <music>